Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 6th, 2023. Well, my goodness, we had an interesting choppy day yesterday where we just really didn't go much of anywhere. We we essentially shook off the downgrade in China and said, ah, we don't care much about that. The bears don't seem to have any aggressiveness in them at all. And I think there still is that possibility that we could get the corporate buyback rally uh, continuing um, and in through the end of the week um, and as we head into that blackout period. But let's take a look at what happened around the world. Asian markets last night rebounded strongly. In fact, the Nikkei up over 2% last night saying, yeah, we don't care about the, the issues in China. Um, um, Australia also rallied nicely. Hong Kong um, recovered quite a bit at 0.83% um, overnight. It was just Shanghai that was down last night, um, but only down marginally, down 3.36 points. So if we take a look at European markets this morning, European markets are decidedly bullish across the board. The DAX is back at a record high, continuing to push on up this morning as this global um, push to the upside um, in anticipation of rate cuts continues. Um, if we take a look at U.S. markets, we're green across the board in this morning's future futures markets. We'll see if that can continue in through the day. We've got oil looking lower here this morning. Um, oil and natural gas um, continuing to um, stay weak um, because, and here's what they keep saying, the reason that is the case is because of weak consumer demand. Um, interesting, um, but we can continue to push st stocks higher just not oil, um, kind of a conundrum there. And then if we were to take a look at our bonds, our bonds are ticking just ever so slightly higher here after making some big declines yesterday after that job openings report. So what does all this mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition for the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do very much appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts. I'll try to shake off our bias here a little bit. Let's see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, looking at this chart, you can see what we've got going here. We're just um, chopping sideways out here. Um, no pullback of these uh, really big candle surge um, to the upside. No, no pullback, just a little bit of rest here in the market. And we've got bullishness coming in today. So if the bulls are going to continue to push to the upside, I've already marked that out over here. There's that resistance high. We've got these tops right in here where we struggled just a little bit in uh, the diamonds. That's going to be that next resistance level to the upside if we can stretch on through to there. Uh, certainly seems viable. And if we break through there, then that possibility of all time highs in the diamonds. If the bears were to find something in data today to actually show some energy, then we would um, potentially push back, maybe breaking this little upside trend and coming back into this little support area of the chart. And if I pull that back, that support area runs back over here to these little high areas in the chart. Breaking down through there, I'm suggesting we're coming down into this area of the chart, which would be a really painful pullback if that were to occur. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY, also um, just been kind of resting um, in this um, area. We've had quite a little bit of volatility 
lately in that price action but you can see already in the pre-market we're trying to pump up here i think there's a pretty good chance if those bulls continue to find that inspiration we may reach up here and see if we can test that resistance and see if we can pop on through now if i pull this over this little uh this line across here if i extend that out you'll want to notice that we're still going to run into kind of that double whammy of resistance right in there coming off of this um, upside trend we'll see if that has any bearing or not and if we can break through this area here then my suggestion is we would stretch right on through to that next level above and you've got to go back over here into 2022 2023 to find it that next resistance level which is just underneath those little platform areas here in the chart if we were to um, see the bears engage today then a push back down maybe to hold on to this support we're just range bound here lately in the spy see if that can hold in that support area and um, if that were to fail then of course this gets a little bit painful um, the pullbacks could be pretty substantial if that were to occur if we take a look at our qqq bulls back in control there's a hammer um, on a tuesday uh, excuse me monday um, and then we completely shook off we didn't care about any downgrades over in china let's buy 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 big tech and that's exactly what happened yesterday pushing those big tech giants higher and um, there's every reason to believe this is going to follow through to the upside now we do have a little bit of price resistance right in here um, if the price um, finds a um, restriction there um, then that might be it but i think with the enthusiasm that we have in this market there's every reason to believe that we can push on through and come right back up here and retest this high in the chart and remember breaking out of here we're we're at all-time highs um, in the nasdaq if the uh, bears find that inspiration and and reject this resistance in the chart i would suggest about the only thing we're likely to do is come down here and maybe retest this support see if it holds if it were not to hold then we're going to fall into that gap um, but yeah we couldn't even do that yesterday with a uh, major economy being downgraded in credit so due to the massive debt that we're carrying um, uh, everywhere in the world if we take a look at our iwm iwm rested here yesterday it was the uh, strongest of the pullbacks um, yesterday and really the only one that suffered much of a pullback after that straight up run that we made there for a couple of days let's see if um, the bulls continue to find that inspiration here today um, and you look across in here we've got some nice support in this area for it to bounce off of so it could certainly bounce right on up and get back up here and see if we can retest this substantial resistance area in the chart and if the bears were to find that inspiration and we were to break this area right in here break down i don't think there's any problem here pushing back down maybe into this uh, very steep upside trend and some support in the chart so keep a close eye on that take a look at our vix we don't care about no stinking debt it, debt and as you can see here um we had a little tiny bit of fear yesterday pushing up in here and then the fear just dropped right back up nope don't care don't care and push right back down here into the 12 handles of the vix um so there's no sign in here right now that the bears are going to grab a hold of anything the bears just seem to be completely in hibernation nothing they seem to care about so bulls continue to maintain control every reason to believe that we can continue to push higher and i would watch for that possibility if the bulls do uh, follow through today to the upside that we would be down in here testing some of these lows um, again this is in a very complacency area of the market but doesn't mean we can't go lower and as you can see there is evidence that we can go lower um, in um, the VIX so watch that closely if the bears find inspiration then we'll start looking back up here 
around that 13 and a half handle resistance area in the chart. Right now, it's not looking good, um, at least today, that that's going to be the case. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, yesterday's bit of selling um, actually relieved quite a little bit of pressure here in T2122, dropped us down into the 62% area um, on that move. So what that does is it opens up that opportunity that we can bounce right back up here into the overbought area if we can find that bullish energy right now i think that's a pretty good chance that that's what we're going to see if the bears for some reason decide to wake up here and just keep in mind we still have a big downside opportunity that could come along from this extension in the market as well um, let's take a look at our uh, t2108 our t2108 continuing to pull back here in the market um from yesterday's um, little bit of bearishness that we saw in there pulling back um, no harm no foul we're stuck between some resistance above and we've got some support below so no particular worries here in this chart to be overly concerned about except the fact that we're starting to get up here in this very very frothy area of the market where we just tend to run out of energy everyone that's going to be in will be in and then we uh, generally pull back um, um, in the market but right now there's no clues of that trend is still up um, even if we did pull back there's good support areas underneath so no major concerns here in t21 08 other than we're very elevated uh, t2107 also quite elevated little pullback yesterday we came back we kind of halted that pullback right here on some support um, no particular worries here this still has some room um, on, uh, to move to the upside just simply because t2107 is kind of lagged way behind on this we could still push up here 5560 area of the chart seems very likely if the bulls continue to push if the bears find inspiration we've got some good support underneath it here in t2107 let's take a look at our uh, t2101 now t2101 yesterday hooked over just a little bit we saw a little bit of a decline in breadth now we were trying to do a little bit of selling in there yesterday and the breadth on the sell side was just weak there just wasn't any energy from those bears to do much of anything so what we need to see if you're a bull in here we need to see the bulls stepping right back up pushing up and seeing that breath expand to the upside you don't want to see that breath potentially hooking over and declining on that on that side just suggesting that the traders are um, the buy side is just kind of wearing out so keep an eye on that if the bears were to find something to grab a hold of then what we'd want to see is we'd want to see this push up on that bearish move to uh, kind of show that the the momentum is starting to pick up with the bears right now I, there doesn't seem to be anything um, in the charts that would suggest that's ready to begin just yet let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar has got a few things that we're going to want to be paying attention to here first off we've got mortgage applications here this morning um, we'll want to watch those those um, have been kind of surprising the fact that um, we um, are seeing these massive declines in rates, but they haven't really been picking up all that much in folks just buying. Maybe that changes here today on that mortgage side. Watch that closely. We've got um, ADP numbers that will be coming out today. Now ADP is suggesting, here let me just kick that on, ADP is suggesting 123,000 jobs were created. What we saw in the job openings report yesterday might suggest this could miss 
to the downside and that would be beneficial for the market remember the fed wants to see the jobs market slowing and um, if this really um, continues to show strength that could be a problem for the market and a problem for the fed and likely lean into the fed would likely lean into holding rates where they are if those numbers stay hot um, and we've got um, international trading goods that will be happening today no one seems to care about the fact that we're just in massive deficits here so um, uh, they're looking for this deficit to continue to grow to a negative 64.1 billion but i don't think that that's going to affect the market at all today and then we've got uh, productivity and costs coming in here uh, productivity and costs um, as you can see they're looking for that to come in at 0.8 just one tenth higher here on that um, and unit labor costs um, at a negative 0.9 so we'll see how that plays out it, it may not have any effect on the market at all petroleum status might be interesting today in relation to the um, the small uh, production cuts out of opec if we continue to see a build in supplies here um, on petroleum status that could drive those oil prices on lower and there's a lot of bearish patterns in those oil prices right now if um, if we happen to see a decline in those supplies we might gain a little bit of price support in there and see some of that bounce just a little bit we got a four month bill auction and then as we look into thursday just keeping in mind we're going to jump into the challenger report we've got jobless claims wholesale inventories we've got um, natural gas report later on in the day we're going to be um, uh, looking at uh, the fed balance sheet and uh, the consumer credit numbers but um, unlikely um, we'll have any reaction to any of that and then of course friday friday is the big employment um, situation number that is typically a market moving number that we'll want to be paying attention to let's take a peek at um, our earnings calendar here for today now on the earnings side of things we do have some notables to be paying attention to if you want to catch the full list make sure you click the link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog first off we're going to have um, AI here um, C3 will be reporting and nice little bullish pattern a nice little upside run here it seems like everything AI is buy 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 um, so watch that carefully here could um, inspire that to be higher here today we've got Brown Foreman um, that will be reporting well come on Brown Foreman trying to rally to the upside here heading into that earnings report breaking through some resistance watch that one today we've got um, Campbell soup that will be reporting today looks like they're trying to pump up after yesterday's selling still challenged by this resistance again some of those defensive sector stocks are starting to show signs of a little bit of a rotation in the market so watch that carefully rotating to a little bit more of these beat down stocks rather than the high flyers keep a close eye on um, things like that trying to come around just a little bit uh, we're going to hear from chewy today chewy's been struggling a bunch but last couple of days rallying back up heading into that earnings report keep an eye on that we've got um we got ollie in there ollie's bargain outlet um looking um uh, bullish here this morning trying to push through into some resistance keep an eye on uh, that uh, tho tho trying to rally to the upside here heading into its earnings report watch that one closely and vrnt um, last one i'm going to cover today also pushing up look at this big gap above if we can get some good bullishness in that there might be some upside opportunity um, coming in that chart so with that if you again if you want to catch the full list make sure you click that link below the title of the video let's take a look at some of the stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that everyone if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time i post a video and then if you believe the video was worthy uh, 
um, please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel uh, to grow more than anything else. It's the engagement with the video that helps a lot. And I know it's monotonous to do that every single day, but it does help support the effort of me putting these out every single day. So thank you so much for your kind support of the effort. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and remember these are not recommendations to um, buy or sell any security. Uh, be very, very careful here in the market. Um, we are extremely extended. We cannot be, could not be surprised if a sell wave picks up at any particular time. Um, and remember, we're going to be running in toward that blackout period um, um, after the end of this week. Um, we're running into that blackout period and we could see those volumes, uh, that corporate buyback, um, really start to uh, shrink that market breadth. So watch that carefully. Let's take a peek here um, at um, Oracle. Oracle, I mentioned the other day as that possibility here in the chart, we did see some weakening in big tech yesterday. So we've slipped below this little support area of the chart. What Oracle has to do now is get back up here and hold. Get back up here and hold and then I'll look for that next opportunity into that. An area that I don't have to seem to worry much at all about is here in um, uranium. My goodness, we're just continuing to push these uranium stocks. Um, CCJ is looking good. We uh, have a little bit of pullback here in the pre-market coming in on CCJ and this probably, it would probably be healthy for this to rest a little bit more. I'm not sure that we're going to get that, but watch that carefully for those upsides. You can also look at stocks like URA holding in these nice support areas of the chart, um, UEC. Um, moving nicely to the upside. This is um, a beautiful upside trend in here, continuing to run. Any kind of rest or pullback into that trend looks like a very good opportunity for some upside movement in the chart. Let's take a look at um, some of the other areas of the market. Take a look at EA, um, Electronic Arts, um, pushing up through some support in the chart and we're just resting up here. Now this was a straight up move, very parabolic, so it's no surprise that we need a little bit of consolidation in here. But what I think um, I would wanna be watching right now is that possibility of that popping on through and then starting to extend that move to the upside. I'd keep a close eye on e, uh, um, EA. Uh, TWLO. TWLO has been extending up huge um, in the market and um, any rest or pullback in here sets up an opportunity in Twilo. So watch that closely. I think we need to uh, be keeping an eye on some of our um, industrials um, out there. Take a look at uh, Boeing. Now Boeing has been running straight up in this market and notice the last few days, a little bit of consolidation is coming into play here. Every reason to believe that this um, move can continue. It may have to rest just a little bit more um, to see if we can deal with um, or confirm that we can hold this support before we move on through and attack these highs in Boeing. So watch that closely. That's looking pretty good at the moment. Um, so watch that one. Um, I like a Coke in here, this nice little resting pattern again that rotation to some of these defensive sector stocks um, seems to be um, picking up steam and looking good. This nice little resting pattern in here would suggest that opportunity with this consolidation right here. We're just completing this, this pattern and that opportunity that we could um, stretch on through to the upside. Keep an eye on that. PepsiCo um, also in that resting pattern, not quite as clean and not um, quite as defined, but I do think it's worth keeping an eye on. Um, take a look at Monster Beverage. Monster struggling here just a little bit. Um, 
um, trying to pop a little bit here in the pre-market, but watch that carefully. Just a bit messier um, chart here. But when we take a look at stocks like Mondelez, Mondelez, another defensive sector stock, nice little resting pattern in here, kind of trapped in this range of resistance and support. But all we need is that little spark of energy in here to maybe push this one on through on Mondelez. So keep an eye on some of those. Boy, when you look at big, uh, incredible runs to the upside, you got to look at McDonald's. This was my original alert here in Mickey D's. This thing is just run, run, run. And we continue to set these nice little resting platforms in here for that upside move and just continuing to follow this trend perfectly. So as we break through some of these resistance levels up here and rest just a little bit, look for that next opportunity for uh, Mickey D's to continue to move up and test some of those resistance highs in the charts. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for listening, so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Be a little bit careful out there and just realize that there could be some volatility on the way if we do start to see that weakening of the uh, uh, so, or the corporate buyback um, levels um, maybe slowing down here after the end this week. So be safe, be careful, have an awesome day, and as always, I want to wish you all the very, very best. Have a great day.